Perhaps the most significant flaw, in the design of the original Titanic, was the fact that she sailed on her tragic maiden voyage, with only enough lifeboats for 33% of the passengers and crew. It was not even a design flaw, it was a choice. The boat deck could have accommodated more lifeboats, but that was considered to be too cluttered and unnecessary. A major design challenge for any replica Titanic project, is that of the lifeboats. Modern maritime safety regulations, introduced because of Titanic and other ships' losses, demanded improved standards of safety. Having plentiful lifeboats, is a given. However modern lifeboats are very different to those of 1912. There are even regulations where the lifeboats are located on board the ship. These factors will affect the aesthetics of any replica Titanic ship design. South African entrepreneur, Sarel Goose, proposed building a replica Titanic, in 1998. This is a rendering of the project, that appeared at the time. From the outset the intention was to build an exact copy, but with enough lifeboats. Due to maritime safety regulations, this proved to be impossible to achieve. For example, it was no longer legal to have lifeboats mounted as high as they were on the original RMS Titanic's boat deck. Modern regulations required that the lifeboats be mounted no higher than 15 meters or 49 feet, above the waterline. In 2006 the South African replica Titanic project was scrapped. Due to high costs and low support. Clive Palmer's Titanic II will have to conform to all modern maritime safety regulations, which includes having modern lifeboats for 125% of the passengers and crew. This is to ensure that there are spare spaces for passengers if not all lifeboats are accessible or are launched partially empty. Titanic II will have an additional deck, called the safety deck, which was not part of the original Titanic's design. This is to ensure that the lifeboats are launched from the lower regulated height, than the original Titanic. There will probably be nine new style lifeboats, per side of the ship. So a total of 18. These modern lifeboats will all be motor driven, have modern communication equipment on board, and are enclosed for comfort. However, they do not look at all authentic.